So earlier this year, I flew across the country to surprise my girlfriend. It was an amazing trip, and her reaction was beyond priceless. Now, we are long distance once again, and I'm planning to surprise her, except this time, it's going to be a bit different. So I recently moved out to Los Angeles to pursue filmmaking, and she went back to Utah to finish up her final semester of college. This time, she's aware that I'll be flying out to come visit her, but what she doesn't know is that I'm arriving a little bit sooner than expected. I told her that flights were too expensive for the date she wanted me to come, and that my plane wouldn't fly in until late Sunday night, which she wasn't too happy about. The flight is really late, like... At night? Yeah. What? I got one of those express... Why did you worry? What? My plan is to fly in early Saturday morning and plan out a romantic date for the night and for the rest of the weekend. She plans to stay at home to study all weekend and has absolutely no clue as to what I'm planning. All right, guys, so I just flew into Salt Lake City. I'm here with my aunt. She picked me up from the airport, and we're going to go um, hiking or something. I, I wait for Allie to get back. Okay, so I have a couple ideas as far as what I want to do for the surprise. Um, so I'm just going to kind of think about them during the day and kind of make up my mind later. So, yeah, I guess I'll let you guys know when I come up with my final decision of what I'm going to do. Um, this is all very spontaneous. She just texted me saying she's on her way back home right now from her game. So that's about a three hour drive, two and a half hours to figure out what to do. Um, so yeah, I'll get it figured out. <laughs> I miss you more than I can even describe. I've just been so busy lately, but like, I talk about you all day. I talk about you with everyone. I talk about you all the time. And I just want to see you. Okay, so I'm in her neighborhood right now. All right, that just made me sound like a stalker. <laughs> okay, so last second, I decided to switch up all my plans, everything that... I oh shoot, she's typing right now. Okay, we gotta go fast. Okay, so last second, I decided to switch all the plans, and I think what I'm gonna do now... I guess this is my only option to do now. I'm gonna wait until she gets home, and then I'm gonna FaceTime her. As I get closer, I'm gonna start giving her clues that I'm not actually still in Los Angeles. I'll open up her Snapchat, see what she said right now. I told her to let me know when she gets to her school. She said, home, can you talk? I said, yeah, I'll call you in one sec. This is it, this is it. I have like monarchs just fluttering in my stomach right now. All right, let's get onto this, let's do this. Whew. All right. <laughs> what do you wanna do, Sunday? I don't know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'll literally like sit on the curb outside. I just wanna, I just wanna hold you. Alright. Yo, 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 mic test. Alright, let's it go. My heart's like pounding out of my chest right now. I don't know why I'm so nervous. <laughs> well, first things first, I kind of have bad news. So, um, Jay has an interview tomorrow. Um, it's like 30 minutes away, so he can't take me to the airport. And Dylan has school, so Dylan said he might be able to get out. Probably need to find like an Uber or something, but I looked at Ubers and they're like $100 from where I am. Are you curious? Yeah. Wow. This is great. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. Ooh, I just want to be with you right now. Yeah, well, you gotta do the hard part to get here first. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. Do you even want me to come? Are you literally kidding me right now? Yes! I just want to make sure that you want, like, me to come, like, really, really bad. Do you? Boo, I want to come so bad, like, you don't even understand how much I want to, like, be there. It's just such a hassle. Anyway, as I was saying. Boo, just wanna be with you right now. <clears throat> so, just wish I was here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>
We did it. Success. <laughs> <laughs> mm, thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. I love you. <laughs> oh, you too. Okay, so I'm back in LA. These last four days have literally gone by like that. Um, I really wish I was still with her right now, but it ended up being such an incredible weekend and I'm so happy that we were able to spend that time with each other in the first place. So I really hope this video inspires one of you guys to just go out and just make the most out of every opportunity you get. I would imagine that a lot of people watching this video probably don't think that just a day and a half, two days, it's much time at all, which in reality it's not, but you can do so much with such a small amount of time. I feel like so often we're always waiting for like that perfect moment instead of just pulling the trigger and doing. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that life is never going to be perfect. There's never going to be that golden opportunity. All right, there might sometimes be that golden opportunity, but very, very far and few between. For the most part, life is just never going to perfectly align. So the next time you have a small gap to visit someone or do something that you've really wanted to do for a long time, just hop on that opportunity as quick as you can and see where it takes you. If you'd like to keep up with my adventure, you can go follow me on Instagram at KyleNut117 and subscribe for new videos every single week. But anyway, here's some of my favorite moments from this weekend.